who is tuning in on Twitch, just getting things going for tonight. Make sure our volume is where it needs to be. Again, not too much really to show you at this point. It's been very quiet, uh, even quieter in the tropics, not entirely too much so. Uh, we will be seeing the potential for some more problems coming up uh, into the near future as we go past the halfway point on the hurricane season. But for right now, things are quiet uh, for the most part, not seeing anything imminent for us, so definitely some good news there. But we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. This is Weather Overtime for Monday. Welcome to the last week of the month and the first full week of autumn. Some very warm temperatures coming our direction uh, for the rest of the week. It was pretty well above normal for today and going to be seeing those fairly warm temperatures sticking around for about uh, the end of the week. Winds occasionally breezy, but otherwise not bad, and temperatures just a little bit above normal for this time of the year. Uh, we're going to finish up the month very much on the dry side, only nine hundredths of an inch so far for the month of September 2023, so we could desperately use some more rainfall, maybe some coming our way by Tuesday through Thursday. Minimal chances, not a great deal. Definitely not anything that's going to give us uh, probably three and a half inches worth of rainfall anytime soon. About two and three quarters inches behind for the entire year. So we're in kind of a very dry pattern at this point and would be nice to be able to get some more rainfall in here. It just does not appear to be happening. Uh, for any point in time out there. For anybody who is not able to stick around for the entire webcast that we have going on here, definitely want to check out our Greater Chattanooga Orthodontics bus stop forecast for Tuesday. Numbers quite mild in the morning with a few clouds and then heading out a very warm day coming up with sunshine mixed in with those clouds. But you will not be needing the air conditioning in the sense of going to school in the morning. Could be a little brisk uh, toward about the next couple of days in the seven day forecast. We'll show you more about that uh, in just a little bit, but otherwise not seeing again a lot of uh, problems for tomorrow morning, so good news. Maybe a jacket later on, but still not seeing much of a problem there. Bailey's heating and air camera from downtown Chattanooga overlooking the area close to around uh, Lookout Mountain off there in the distance. Apologies for the reflection on the TV screen there. From Lee Point, hoping that our close-up shot had a very good uh, time lapse. We'll see if we can get that taken care of coming up a little bit later on tonight. Back to downtown from the News 12 studios overlooking the north slope of Lookout Mountain and right along Front Street, right across the street, the brand new 7-Eleven going in. Slushies are just going to be about that far away from the News 12 studios. Uh, again, this is the veteran-owned Patriot Concrete camera. The previous camera was our uh, plain view outdoor advertising camera thanking all of our sponsors for all of our cameras and everything that you do for us tomahawk crane and rigging camera traffic at 2475 moving along very nicely at this time from chattanooga theater center the speedy's total car care camera from the epb fiber optics weather cam network overlooking coolidge park the tennessee river and back toward the west southwest also a great place to uh, view a sunset out there and last but not least from island cove marina and resort looking to the west and a great sunset for early in this evening but not showing anything in the way of clouds outside of just a few high thin clouds back off to the southwest but that's about it very mild right now temperatures back in the lower to mid 70s dew point temperatures a little higher pretty much normal again for what we can expect out there at this time of the evening air quality in the last hour has risen a little bit usually at this time of the evening is when the sun stops shining on the lower part of the atmosphere and therefore causes it to get all turbulent which is where we usually get the cloud cover from those cumulus clouds popping up from time to time so as of right now when the atmosphere begins to calm down after the sun has set that's when all the pollutants they get kicked up by the sunshine warming the lower levels of the atmosphere start to kind of collapse a little bit and bring back in a lot of pollutants. So we're seeing a little bit worse air quality at this time, not seeing a lot in the way of major health problems, but just a little bit out there for now. 
uh, picking up some in the way of uh, pollutants out there, but again, not as bad as it could be. The view from the Twin Creeks camera, this is a very nice uh, camera to keep around. Uh, looking around the area of Great Smoky Mountains National Park, it's about this time of the year that we start to see these colors, mostly all green, start to change by just a little bit. And occasionally you'll see a spot or two of color uh, that, again, definitely showing that autumn is on the way. We'll be seeing a lot of this turn over to those brilliant brown, yellow, gold, and orangish hues in the next several weeks. So keep an eye on the Twin Creeks camera. You can access this online. Very nice camera to have around for keeping track of stuff like that. We did manage to pick up a few scattered showers and thunderstorms down to our south and west, but beyond that, there's really just not that much out there. More activity like this could be a bit of a problem into the next couple of days uh, as we see more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there into the next day or two. We've got one front sitting just down to our south and east. That is acting as the irritation point for those showers and thunderstorms. Another front coming in from the west. This is going to be giving us the potential for more in the way of showers and thunderstorms into Wednesday and Thursday. Heading out to the west coast, be prepared for uh, some delays, some windy conditions, a lot of rainfall coming down. The good news is this atmospheric river that is heading into the west coast perfectly timed just what fire officials and the firefighters out west need is a big burst of moisture rich air to drop some rain on some of those forest fires and maybe curtail the season by a couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully it works that way, but this system is a big wrapped up area of low pressure around the Gulf of Alaska, and that's bringing in a lot of much needed moisture rich air out there. Our storm system coming in here, again, as it makes its way through, will deliver some showers and thunderstorms, but beyond that, not really picking up a lot of anything after that because we'll be seeing, again, some very mild conditions and dry. Best chance of rainfall, not tomorrow morning, so the kids won't need the umbrella early in the morning. Maybe a speckle or two of rain showers by early afternoon, and most of those will be east of Chattanooga, and most of those will be because the winds pushing the moisture up around the hills will create some showers and thunderstorms. Knoxville, Asheville, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, back down to northern Georgia. We'll see better potential of that going on into and around tomorrow afternoon. By early Wednesday morning, maybe some more hill, mountain showers and thunderstorms off to our east. And then potential of showers and thunderstorms will be at its peak Wednesday into very early on Thursday as another round of showers and thunderstorms along that front edges its way into the area. So we'll continue to see that potential of some showers and thunderstorms heading our way by Tuesday afternoon. And then that should do it for the chances of rainfall out there, giving us less in the way of rain throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. And then very dry conditions will be sticking around all the way on through. Speaking of those wildfires, we're just not picking up anything uh, in the way of major problems. We do have some haze out there and anything we've got uh, in the way of anything involving smoke is very localized smoke. So there's not a lot of anything happening here uh, where it comes to anything in the way of major amounts of smoke like what we saw uh, several months ago from coming down from parts of Quebec and Toronto. Uh, not seeing anything around the area there, but for right now, uh, decently clear air for the time being. So hopefully that stays that way uh, for right now. Let's go ahead and take a look outside and see what we've got going on for the rest of the next several days. Again, looking at the possibility of showers and thunderstorms most numerous on Wednesday into Thursday. And that is where we may see again the potential of the worst activity going on here most of what we're seeing for right now will be, again, just chances of showers, maybe some thunderstorms in there. We're not seeing anything in the way of severe weather, so that's good news, too. After that, through the rest of the week, very warm, just above normal for this time of the year. Normal is about 83, so most of what we're seeing here will be back in the mid-80s. Again, just a little bit above normal, not seeing a lot of major heat wave coming on through, but we could see that possibility. Again, it's all the way back into around the area of the rest of the year. We can get some very warm weather weather around here through Halloween, and hopefully that's not the case, but we'll be watching 
a lot of see what we've got going on there uh, in the way of temperatures again so far so good so again hopefully it stays that way could be some patchy fog tomorrow morning early on worst of the worst it looks like it's going to be from mainly i-40 north into portions of northern tennessee uh, middle tennessee could pick up some of that right along the i-40 corridor and then all the way back up into parts of kentucky so that could be a bit of an issue into tomorrow morning we did have a system in the gulf of mexico starting to kind of get organized here but the national hurricane center has dropped that from its forecasts so not seeing any major problems there in mid-ocean we have philippe the p name storm winds of 45 miles per hour and it looks like over the next several days it will be remaining a tropical storm steady on the possibility of those wind gusts out there so we're just not getting too much of a way of our next hurricane taking place it also looks like it'll be taking that northerly jog so once again bermuda could be an issue there but otherwise doesn't look like too much to worry about for now uh, if you're heading to the coast the bahamas florida in the next few days i would definitely watch this to make sure that you've got uh, everything taken care of there we do have another system right on the heels of philippe and this is where the national hurricane center is keeping an eye on things follow that dotted line that's philippe sitting right there farther to the east southeast that is our next system that could become uh, the r named storm there is no q named storm uh, because there's just not enough uh, anything in the way of q storm names out there for that so this could wind up being uh, tropical storm rena in the next couple of days r-i-n-a so that is where we may see our next system and again philippe over here what could be Rhina or Rena over here, that making its way to the west northwest. This is where we may see again the worst of the worst uh, coming in from off of Africa for a little bit. Most of what we've got for now is showing again it's uh, about a 90% chance of development, but otherwise just not showing anything in the way of any major amounts of anything hitting the east coast. So good news on that. Uh, whether or not this becomes Rena. National Hurricane Center giving this a very high probability, but this is something that we need uh, also to watch. Remember, we are in the latter half of the hurricane season. We just crossed over on, into that area just about two weeks ago or so. The campfire graphic, as it's called, showing again the midpoint around September the 10th. And we're now in that downward phase heading toward October. But we can still get some very big storms into October, even November, as the waters of the ocean remain very much on the hot side. So this, very important to remember that we may be seeing some problems out of this in the next several weeks so definitely a time to make certain you're paying attention to what's going on with the forecast heading out to catch a fish according to the website we use a poor day for catching a fish otherwise great for outdoor activities it's going to be on the warm side but otherwise looking again at some light winds lots of sunshine which means we should have some good afternoon activity weather wise for golf out there numbers again not bad winds light out of the east northeast so hopefully not a problem with the slice of the hook and so far the only thing you should have anything to worry about will be again just those gophers out there wandering around our west shore home weather window picture of the day thank you very much grasa pedro for for a shot from her flight from chattanooga to chicago nice view of the lower section of the atmosphere out there cumulus cumulonimbus clouds popping up here and there a lot of pollution with that brown shaded color out there so this a nice little view there that's our west shore home weather window picture of the day if you've got pictures we'd love to see them and show them drop them to us on our social media pages or again email them to us at pictures at wdef Dot com if you are able to do so on that and your snapshot could be our next west shore home weather window picture of the day we've got uh, again some requests in for our next uh, school presentations coming up if you'd like to have us in your classroom one of our weather experts to drop by and talk about weather and science and climate change and all sorts of things like that drop us a line at the food city weather in the classroom program Otherwise, that's at wdef.com slash weather, 
and go to weather in the classroom for more on that. Also, please remember now when nothing is going on is the perfect time to program your weather radio. We can help you do that. All you have to do is go to WDEF.com slash weather and click on the program your weather radio video segment. We'll be glad to help you out with that as well. So please give us a shout and let us know more about that by visiting WDEF.com. Chip Chapman will have more on your forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning. That's Tuesday morning starting at 5 a.m. Eastern. And, of course, I'll have more on the evening show coming up tomorrow afternoon and evening for more details as to what's going on with your forecast throughout the rest of the week on there. And, again, always a forecast available at WDEF.com slash weather. And you can find me on all of these social media networks out there. If you'd like to drop by and ask a question, offer to play a game of chess at chess.com or lichess.org on that. That'll about do it for tonight. Foreshortened weather overtime, hardly anything going on, but a very quiet spate of days out there and should be uh, staying that way again for the next several days. A few showers and thunderstorms, but that's going to be about it. I'll have your forecast coming up tonight on News 12 at 11. And again, Chip has your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you for joining us for the latest edition of Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for more with News 12 on air and online.